Hi everyone, welcome back to The Chosen One by Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much for your support. Today, word for tough times is, God said, I will open up your eyes to understand my word. You know, some of you have been like, Lord, I don't understand how to read the Bible. I don't understand what you're saying in your word. God is going to show you how to understand what he's saying in the Bible. The Bible verse I want to read to you is Psalms 138 and 2, and it reads, I worship at your holy temple and praise you for your love and faithfulness. You were true to your word and made yourself move famous than ever before. God is getting ready to move in our life. And I want you to know that God is getting ready to do some things in everybody's life. And it's time for you to put on the full arm of God. I don't know where you at in your life. I don't know what you're doing, but I know you're not doing right. You need to put on the full arm of God. You got some people living right. You got some people still trying to figure out which way they're going. You need to figure out which way you're going. Because God wants his people to put on the full arm of him. We got to understand the Bible. Before we leave this earth, we need to know the Bible. How can you go to church every Saturday and you don't know the Bible? You got to know the word. Let me tell you this. The pastor can teach you over and over, but the pastor going to tell you, faith without work is dead. You have to be able to do everything in the Bible. How can you say, Lord, I'm going to follow your will and then you don't do everything that God tells you. All I'm saying is be obedient to God. If you want God to bless you, if you want God to do anything in your life, you have to make sure that your eyes understand the word of God. You have to make sure that you read it. Ask God to open up your eyes so you can see what he's saying in the word. God tell you, wait, you know, until you marry. God tell you certain things in the Bible. You need to be able to listen to what he's saying and obey him. Because I'm telling you, a lot of people have disobeyed God and a lot of people have passed away because they wasn't listening to God. You got to make sure you keep his commandments. You can't just be a Christian on Saturday. You got to be a Christian the whole week. Live holy every day. Don't just live holy one time out of a week. You know, you got to make sure you're doing your part as a Christian. How can you tell everybody on social media to live right and you're not even doing right? How can you tell anybody to be holy? And you're not holy yourself. You got to realize you are a living example. We all are living example. What we do can affect who we are. You got to make sure you live an example because what we, what you live in is going to be tested. That's why the Bible says know them by their fruits. Are your fruits are true or are your fruits are lie? You got to make sure you're doing God's will. You can't just be a Christian on one day out of the week. You got to be a Christian every day. Stop allowing your job to be your attention and start focusing on your soul more. Your, your job can wait. Your soul, it can't. God can't. Listen, let me tell you this. God has waited enough for a lot of people. I'm telling you, focus on your soul. Listen, if your job want to let you go, let them let you go. That's why you need to be having, I tell anybody this, always have a side hustle on the side. When I say a side hustle, make sure you're making something. I'm talking about making something, making like at least $20 an hour on the side. You can still be working a full shift at your job. You can be working nine to five, but still have something on the side. Like even if you're making braces, if, if you're making, you know, jewelry, anything, have something on the side. Don't just be going to work, doing their job. Have something on the side so you still can make money. So if that job lets you go, you still can fall back on something. Be smart and wiser. Not crazy and foolish. So I'm just saying, give yourself to God. Allow God to open up your eyes because he want to open up your understanding as well. So God bless you. Be encouraged. Thank you for watching. Keep your head up. Be strong. Don't give up. Pray about all things. Keep your head up. You got this. God bless you.